It was the home of some of the most important music history in Canada. Welcome to Then and Now, the series that brings Toronto's past back to life. I am Morgan Cameron Ross. Today we're talking about the history of Little Jamaica. Now what we call Little Jamaica hasn't always been Little Jamaica. The area along Eglinton West, west of Allen Road, east of Dufferin, is a multicultural spot full of colorful Caribbean shops, restaurants and groceries, but not just Jamaican ones, from all over the world. The area dates back all the way to the late 1700s with the clearing of Eglinton. The location of Eglinton, Vaughan Road and Dufferin has actually been an important spot for the last 200 plus years. It was viewed as a rest stop, a full day's travel for many people heading west from Young Street along Eglinton, or a full day north from the lake. Present day Little Jamaica though, was actually one of the original black communities in Canada in the mid 1800s. Many of the people fleeing slavery in the US. York Township, as the area was known, was second in black residents only to St. John's Ward, right here in present day downtown. The area didn't start to resemble its current self until just after World War I with the development of subdivisions. Here is an aerial photo of the neighborhood in 1947. And now, here are some photos of the area in the 1950s. As you can see, the Esso gas station at Dufferin and Eglinton stood there for decades until now. The area has been a welcoming spot for many different newly arrived ethnic groups through the years. Some of the Jewish community, Italian, and as is clear, Right now, people from the West Indies, parts of Africa, the Philippines, and others. By the 1960s, immigration rules for Jamaicans loosened, and the beginning of Little Jamaica started. With mass migration in the 1970s, the community became large and vibrant. The music of the Eglinton West area is the stuff of legend. Jimmy Cliff and Bob Marley were constantly spending time there, as was the talented local contingency of reggae legends, Jackie Matu and others, all being given a nice nod to in their current reggae lane installation here. The area these days though, with the significant construction of the Eglinton Crosstown LRT, the area is vulnerable. So make sure to shop local and make a trip or many to the area. Some of the best food and people in town. That's it for this episode of Then and Now. I'm Morgan Cameron Ross. Catch you next time on Narcity.